Now to a ruling by the U.S. Supreme Court, which could impact hundreds of prosecutions related to the January 6th Capitol riot by making it harder to charge riot defendants with obstruction. For more on this, we're joined now by Professor Joshua Kastenberg with the University of New Mexico School of Law. Professor, thanks for speaking with us today. Thank you for having me. All right, so what exactly did the Supreme Court justices rule on today, and what was their reasoning for coming to their conclusion? Sure. Uh, so of the many charges that the uh, January 6th um, insurrection individuals who are involved in, one of them is obstruction of an official proceeding. And there's some very vague language in that statute. And, and so it all hinder, it, it all centers on the word otherwise. And so there's a fundamental concept in the United States criminal law that constitute and constitutional law that criminal law statutes have to be read very narrowly. That's part of our Bill of Rights jurisprudence. And there was no evidence at all that Congress intended the statute to extend to this type of conduct. The, the majority held that the uh, U.S. attorney, rather the Justice Department, extended the statute far beyond what Congress intended or what the plain language of the statute was. The interesting thing about this ruling is that there's a crossover between conservatives and liberals that this issue was not decided on ideological lines. All right, so Professor, how could this ruling then impact the more than 300 rioters who are charged under the statute? Yeah, so every single one of those individuals who's been found guilty, pled guilty, or has been charged under that specific statute, if they've been found guilty of that alone, they, they go free. Uh, if they've been found guilty of that statute and others, um, then they'll have to be resentencing um, type uh, judicial hearings that, that occur. Uh, for those people who are awaiting trial, of course, they won't go to trial on that charge. And then there's the million dollar question. The big question is, how will this affect the pending trial, if there is one, on former President Donald Trump? But the former president is not charged under this particular statute. So a lot of speculation as to that. All right, Professor, thank you so much for your insight today. We appreciate it. Not at all. Thank you for having me. That is Joshua Kastenberg, a professor at the University of New Mexico School of Law.